On Capitol Hill today, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer is bringing a voting rights bill to the floor, even though it won't get past the first steps. Skylar Henry on what's in the bill and the opposition it's facing. It takes 60 votes to start that debate. Senator Chuck Schumer says he's pushing forward with the voting rights bill, even though Republicans plan to block it. They don't want to talk about it. They want to sweep it under the rug and hope that Americans don't hear about it. But Americans will hear about it. Among the provisions in the bill, the For the People Act would create a national automatic system for registering voters and establish national standards for mail-in and absentee ballots. It's the latest version of the so-called For the People Act, which is a massive, massive takeover, federal takeover of election law. Democrats say it's necessary to combat new restrictive voting laws passed in Republican-controlled states. Since I spoke here in, Georgia, in March, Georgia and 13 other states have enacted these voter suppression bills into law, 14 in total. Republicans remain unanimously opposed to the federal legislation. Today, the Senate's going to fulfill our founding purpose, stop the partisan power grab and reject S-1. Senator Joe Manchin also previously expressed his opposition to the bill. The West Virginia Democrat met with President Biden about it yesterday. The president expressed how important this bill is to him. This will be a fight of his presidency. Manchin has offered a compromise that has won the support of former President Barack Obama and voting rights advocate Stacey Abrams. We're looking at a much more, I think, a much fairer, a much better approach to take. But Republicans remain unconvinced. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill.